Welcome dear audience student and scholar to hear from Dr. Ramjad Ali Dear scholars, so far as we have discussed about the relationship between the government debt and budget deficit and we have discussed the measurement problem in a budget deficit. In this video we are going to discuss the traditional view of a government debt. Introduction. Dear scholars, imagine that you are an economist working for Congressional Budget Office CBO. You receive a letter from the chair of the Senate Budget Committee. That is, dear CBO economist, Congress is about to consider the President's request to cut all taxes by 20% before deciding whether to endorse the request, my committee would like your analysis. We see little hope of reducing government spending, so the tax cut would mean an increase in the budget deficit. How would the tax cut and budget deficit affect the economy and the economic well-being of the country? Sincerely, here the committee chairman okay being the economist uh, you have to answer this uh, to the senator you open your favorite economic textbook this one of course if you open the Mankey book to uh, see what the model predict for such a change in fiscal policy to analyze the long run effect of this uh, policy change you may turn to the models of uh, classical economics and then the models uh, show that uh, tax cut uh, stimulates consumer spending and uh, reduces national saving. The reduction in saving raises the interest rate which crowds out investment. The shallow growth model introduced uh, uh, in our previous video showed that lower investment eventually leads to a lower steady state capital stock and a lower level of output because we concluded in a silo model that US economy has less capital uh, than in the golden rule a steady state. The fall in steady state uh, capital means lower consumption and reduced well-being. Okay, then policy change will be analyzed uh, 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 to develop your answer. To analyze the short run effects of the policy change, you turn to the ISN LM model. This model shows that a cut uh, in tax stimulates consumer spending, uh, which implies an expansionary shift in the IS curve. If there is no change in monetary policy, the shift in the IS curve leads to an expansionary shift in the aggregate demand curve. Okay, in the short term, when prices are sticky, the expansion in aggregate demand leads to higher output and lower unemployment. Okay, over time, as prices adjust, uh, the economy returns uh, to national level of output and the higher aggregate demand results in a higher price level in the economy. Okay, then uh, uh, you introduce the international trade effect. Okay, to see how international trade affects your analysis, you turn to the open economy models. Okay, the models uh, show that when national saving falls, people start financing investment by borrowing from abroad, causing a trade deficit. Although the inflow of capital from abroad lessens uh, the effect of fiscal policy change on U.S. capital accumulation. The United States becomes uh, indebted to foreign countries. Okay, the fiscal change also causes the dollar to appreciate, which makes uh, foreign uh, goods cheaper in the United States and the domestic goods more expensive abroad 
The Mundell Fleming model show that uh, the appreciation of the dollar and the resulting fall in net exports reduce the short run expansionary impact of the fiscal change on output and employment. Okay, with all these models in mind, you have to draft uh, uh, your response. Okay, moving towards uh, with these models in mind, you draft a response for the senator. Okay, you wrote, uh, dear uh, senator, a tax cut financed by government borrowing would have uh, many effects on the economy. The immediate impact of the tax cut would be to stimulate consumer spending. Higher consumer spending affects the economy in both the short run and the long run. In the short run, higher consumer spending will raise the demand for goods and services and thus raise output and employment. Interest rates would also rise. However, uh, as investors competed for a smaller flow of saving, higher interest rates would discourage investment and would encourage capital to flow in from abroad. The dollar would rise in value against foreign currencies and US firms would become less competitive in world's markets. In the long run, the smaller national saving caused by the tax cut would mean a smaller capital stock and a greater foreign debt. Therefore, the output of nation would be smaller and a greater share of that output would be owned to foreigners. Okay, the overall effect of the tax cut on economic well-being is hard to judge. Current generations would benefit from higher consumption and higher employment, although inflation would likely be higher as well. Future generations would bear much of the burden of today's budget deficit. They would be born into a nation with a, a, a smaller capital stock and larger foreign debt. Okay, your faithful servant, CBO economist, and upon your response, the senator replies, Dear CBO economist, thank you for your letter. It made sense to me, but yesterday my committee heard testimony from a prominent economist who called herself a Ricardian and who reached uh, quite a different conclusion. She said that a tax cut by itself would not stimulate consumer spending. She concluded that uh, the budget deficit would therefore uh, uh, not have all the effect you listed. So here we have one of the main question uh, to answer that what's going on here sincerely committee chairman after uh, studying our uh, few uh, uh, coming topics you will uh, write back to the senator explaining the detail uh, debate over ricardian equivalence so this is all about the traditional view of uh, government uh, debt so see you with another video. Ciao.